I think my longest layer is now at bra strap length. Yay. Yay. Hey YouTube, it is your friendly neighborhood natural Lex, or you may know me as Chocolex on YouTube, and I am back with another natural hair video for you guys today. And in today's video, I am here doing my straight hair check-in, boo. Straight hair check-in for you guys. So... For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I decided at the beginning of this year that I was going to I decided at the beginning of this year that I was going to get my hair trimmed every eight weeks consistently for the entire year of 2019. And so far, I have Help my word and I have stuck with it so far this year my dates of my past hair appointments I guess um was I don't even know them by heart I haven't written down the first one was December the 29th which technically would have been in 2018 but I consider it 19 because it's just a couple days off so just putting it out there the second one was March the 9th, the third one was May the 11th, and this is the fourth one. So this is my fourth time getting my hair blown out in 2019. Before Natural Hair Police comes in my comments, I just want to say that I am aware that you do not have to get your hair blown out to get your inch trimmed. I know that. I actually prefer to do it this way because I actually like getting my hair straightened. If you don't want to get your hair blown out to get your ends trimmed, that's perfectly fine. I don't really care. Just go get your ends trimmed. If you've seen any of my previous trim check-ins, um, and you if you watched any of my videos after those check-ins, you will see that I do not experience heat damage or any type of loss of curl pattern. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. I've been going to my stylist since I was in the eighth grade, and she is very, very knowledgeable on natural hair, and she's very knowledgeable on things you need to do to have healthy hair and things you need to do to retain length, make your hair grow. So, if you're wondering, yes, I've straightened my hair four times so far this year, and no, what? I haven't experienced any heat damage and I am hoping that I can continue saying that. I just have to put that in this video because a lot of y'all think that heat contributes to unhealthy hair and in some cases it does. I have had my experience in the past with heat and color damage but I just feel like your stylist and the education of a stylist and their experience with natural hair is so important because yeah I'm not even gonna get into that y'all know that like I tell people all the time do your research before y'all sit in these people chairs ask people go on their social media go on their what their websites whatever they have like just be sure that these people are equipped to handle your request as a natural before you you pay them and before you sit down and let them do your hair that's all i'm saying fyi i do live in south carolina it's july it's hot capital letters bold exclamation point underline it's hot down here okay and it's been storming like every other day or it's cloudy or it's just freaking humid if it's not already raining or about to rain so yeah this is I actually got my hair done yesterday I'll put a picture in here of my hair yesterday it was so pretty oh my god and then I had some ripping and running to do I had an event yesterday that I went to and it did kind of sweat out a little bit as y'all can see especially like at the roots or whatever we're starting to get some 
reverting, which is okay, you know. My next time that I get it done, my next appointment is scheduled for September the 7th. Two months from now that's when my next appointment is next time i think i told her to curl it this time simply because i had my event so i was like i want something cute for the event or whatever next time i'm just going to tell her to leave it straight so we can really look at the length um because i know the curls kind of like throws it off a little bit of uh, things that you need to know i'm actually approaching my four year anniversary since my last big chop yeah I, th I definitely yeah I don't think that my hair is like super long and I don't think that my hair grows back super fast you know those naturals who be like yeah my hair grows like super fast my hair grows really fast they just cut it off and then in two months it's back to where they started like don't you just hate them just kidding don't take that seriously but my hair I think my hair grows like regular <laughs> I'm not about to get on here and be exaggerating doing all this extra stuff my hair grows regular I've been contemplating taking supplements or some type of like hair skin and nails vitamins or something like that but the only thing with that is number one I don't have time for the breakouts y'all my skin has been giving me trouble over the past month and I don't need that and also I don't want my hair growing everywhere if you know what I mean also my hair is layered so the hair in the back my length basically comes from my hair in the back the hair in the back is the longest and then as you work your way to the front it gets shorter so like for example on this side this is a front layer and this is a back layer clearly there is a difference in length I mean at least I think my hair is layered it this is layers right and I also kind of feel like my the back of my hair grows faster than the front I can't confirm that yet but yeah so what I've been trying to do, you might be like, what is your purpose? I want super long hair, period. Some naturals don't like that. Some girls don't want all that on their head. Some girls like shortcuts. Some girls want to keep it short. Some girls don't want to deal with it. Me, when I had shorter hair, I hated it. I felt like I was ugly. I didn't like having my hair out this was when I did my last big job job this is when I did my last big chop four years ago I hated how short my hair was I didn't want anybody to see me in it I was very very self-conscious about it and I just feel like with the hair that's on your head you do what you want to do so if you want it short then cut that ish and if you don't grow it out or get weave you know do what you want to do so for me, I want long hair. I cannot imagine myself with short hair. My forehead is too big for all that to be having all that exposure. Like I just cannot. So when people ask me, you know, do you think you're gonna cut your hair or do you get tired of it? Yeah, I do get tired of my hair. Who doesn't get tired of the hair? But I don't wanna cut it off. My goal was to get to bra strap length. That's what I'm trying to get to now. It's kind of hard because since my hair is not all one length, it's like the front parts of my hair is gonna take some time to catch up with the back. This is the tank top that I've been wearing in my past few trim check-in videos. So I'm gonna put this on real quick. All right, so welcome back. Thank you guys for joining us after that commercial break. I forgot how I do these. Here's the front or whatever. Turn to the side so you don't see. Y'all see this? Is my head straight? My head is straight.
And then the back is the most important. If I can not even see the back. What I'm gonna do is take this back piece and pull it down so we are like right here and this is my bra strap right here y'all see that so I think I think my longest layer is now at bra strap length yay yay after bra strap length well of course i would like the rest of the layers to catch up but i really do suspect that the front of my hair doesn't grow like the back does the front is growing it's just not as fast as the back you know that was so extra so after bra strap length I'm definitely coming for mid back. That's that's what I want. I want mid back. You know, if I don't make it a waist length in this lifetime, that's fine and dandy. But mid back length, I think me and mid back length, we would definitely be good friends. You know. By the way, I know I've been looking dusty in some of my previous videos, and y'all know most of the time I don't get on camera with makeup on or anything like that unless I'm going somewhere but I do not put on makeup to film any of my videos FYI like everybody else on YouTube does it's just something I don't do but I did get my lashes redone okay for anybody wondering well, really, nobody nobody has asked me yet who does my hair. I think that's because I don't really have a lot of subscribers. So y'all probably aren't wondering. And a lot of y'all probably don't live where I live anyway. So me providing you the information would be pointless. But if you would like to know who my stylist is, you can definitely drop a comment below or send me a direct message on Instagram or something like that. And I can definitely provide you with her information. I don't let my my negative experience with heat and color damage influenced me to not get my hair blown out because I, I like wearing my hair straightened occasionally so if you have had that experience with the stylist please 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 just shake it off do what you gotta do grow it out transition again big chop and find you a good knowledgeable stylist who just isn't about taking your money and posting your before and after pictures on Instagram. Know that hair grows back as long as you take care of it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to yet another natural hair video with your girl. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow your girl on social media. How often do you guys get your Instagram? Leave that below. How many times have you had your ends trimmed so far this year? Leave that below. And do you trim your own ends or do you let a professional do it? Leave that below as well. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next one. Ooh, there goes my shirt up over my head. Oh, I, oh my God. I'm trying to move my freaking suitcase. So I'll tell you what I did last night. I came home about a quarter to three.